Porcupines are fascinating rodents known for their unique quills and solitary nocturnal lifestyle. Here's a glimpse into the life of a porcupine. 1. Habitat Porcupines are found in a variety of habitats, including forests, deserts, and grasslands. They are adaptable and can thrive in diverse environments across North and South America, Africa, Europe, and Asia. 2. Nocturnal Behavior Porcupines are primarily nocturnal, meaning they are most active during the night. This behavior helps them avoid predators and minimizes interactions with other diurnal animals. 3. Quill Defense One of the most distinctive features of porcupines is their coat of sharp quills. Contrary to popular belief, porcupines cannot shoot their quills, but they are loosely attached and can easily penetrate the skin of predators. When threatened, a porcupine may turn its back, bristle its quills, and charge backward to stab a potential threat. 4. Herbivorous Diet Porcupines are herbivores with a diet that includes leaves, twigs, bark, and green plants. They have strong, chisel-like incisors that continuously grow, and constant gnawing on vegetation helps wear down their teeth. 5. Tree Dwelling some porcupine species, like the North American porcupine, are excellent climbers. They spend a significant amount of time in trees, using their strong claws and prehensile tail for support. Tree dwelling provides both food sources and protection from ground predators. 6. Reproduction Porcupines typically have a slow reproductive rate. The gestation period for porcupines is relatively long and females give birth to a single offspring, known as a porcupid. The young are born with soft quills that harden within a few days. 7. Solitary Nature Porcupines are generally solitary animals. They have overlapping home ranges but are not highly social. Interaction between porcupines is typically limited to mating, and they often lead solitary lives except during the breeding season. 8. Communication Porcupines communicate using a variety of vocalizations, including grunts, whines, and moans. They may also use body language and sense to communicate with each other. 9. Adaptations to cold environments Some porcupine species, such as the North American porcupine, are adapted to cold climates. Their fur is dense and covers their quills, providing insulation during winter. Porcupines are also known to seek refuge in tree hollows or dens during extreme weather conditions. 10. Predators While porcupines have a formidable defense with their quills, they still face predation. Some predators, such as fishers, bobcats, cougars, and great horned owls, have learned to attack porcupines in ways that avoid their quills. 11. Salt-seeking behavior Porcupines are known for their attraction to salt. They may gnaw on items like tool handles, car tires, and buildings to obtain salt residues. This behavior has been attributed to their need for essential minerals not readily available in their plant-based diet. 12. Porcupines and Humans Porcupines can sometimes come into conflict with humans particularly in areas where they feed on crops, ornamental plants, or structures. However, efforts are often made to find humane solutions to mitigate conflicts. 13. Lifespan The lifespan of porcupines varies by species. In the wild, they typically live around 5 to 7 years, but some individuals may live longer in captivity. Understanding the life of a porcupine involves recognizing their adaptations for survival, their unique defense mechanisms, and their role in the ecosystems they inhabit. Despite their spiky appearance, porcupines play important roles in their respective environments. 14. Deterrent Behavior In addition to their quills, porcupines use deterrent behavior to discourage potential predators. When threatened, they may stomp their feet, growl, or charge toward the threat, attempting to intimidate or warn predators. 15. Territorial Behavior 
While porcupines are generally solitary, they can exhibit territorial behavior, especially during the breeding season. Males may establish and defend territories to attract females. 16 Dental Health Challenges The continuous growth of porcupine incisors can lead to dental health challenges if not worn down through regular gnawing. In captivity, provision of appropriate materials for gnawing helps maintain their dental health. 17 Seasonal Changes in Diet Porcupines may exhibit seasonal variations in their diet. During certain times of the year, they may shift their preference for certain types of vegetation, depending on availability and nutritional needs. 18 Porcupines as Seed Dispersers Porcupines play a role in seed dispersal. As they feed on various plant parts, including bark and fruits, they inadvertently disperse seeds in different locations, contributing to the diversity and regeneration of plant species. 19 Porcupine Species There are multiple species of porcupines found around the world. For example, the North American porcupine, Erythizon dorsatum, is well known in North America, while the African porcupine, Hystrix africi australis, inhabits parts of Africa. 20 Adaptations for Ground Foraging Some porcupine species, like the African crested porcupine, are adapted for ground foraging. They have strong limbs and claws for digging up roots and tubers, and their quills are modified to be shorter and less likely to embed in predators. 21 Seasonal Changes in Behavior Porcupines may exhibit changes in behavior during different seasons. For example, in winter, they may spend more time in their dens or sheltered locations to conserve energy and stay warm. 22 Porcupine Dens and Shelters Porcupines create dens in rock crevices, hollow trees, or burrows. These shelters provide protection from predators and the elements. Dens may be used for resting, giving birth, and seeking refuge. 23 Vocalizations and Communication Porcupines communicate with each other using various vocalizations. These sounds may serve to establish territory, signal mating readiness, or convey distress. Scent marking is also used for communication. 24 Porcupines and Water While porcupines are not considered strong swimmers, they can cross water bodies. Some species are known to wade through shallow water or use logs or rocks to navigate streams. 25 Porcupine Anatomy Porcupines have a stocky build, small eyes, and a blunt head. Their quills are modified hairs with barbed tips, and they cover most of the porcupine's body. The tail is prehensile and can be used for balance while climbing. 26 Porcupine Prey for Predators Despite their defenses, porcupines are preyed upon by various predators. Some predators have developed strategies for avoiding quills, such as flipping the porcupine onto its back to expose the softer belly. 27 Cultural Significance Porcupines hold cultural significance in various societies. They are featured in folklore, myths, and traditional stories, often symbolizing traits such as protection, resilience, or resourcefulness. 28 Porcupines in Art and Literature Porcupines have been depicted in art and literature across cultures. Their unique appearance and behaviors make them intriguing subjects in storytelling, fables, and artistic representations. Understanding the life of porcupines involves appreciating their adaptations, behaviors, and ecological roles. As with many wildlife species, porcupines contribute to the complexity and biodiversity of the ecosystems they inhabit. 29 Lifespan The lifespan of porcupines in the wild can vary depending on factors such as species, habitat, and predation risks. On average, they may live around 5 to 7 years in the wild, but some individuals can live longer in captivity. 30 Porcupine Courtship Porcupines engage in courtship behaviors during the breeding season. 
Males may approach females with a series of vocalizations, scents, and physical displays to establish a connection before mating occurs. 31 Porcupine Tracks and Sign Tracking porcupines involves observing their distinctive tracks. Their prints show a distinctive waddle due to their slow and lumbering gait. Evidence of gnawed trees, bark, and the presence of quills can also be signs of porcupine activity. 32 Geographic Distribution Different species of porcupines have distinct geographic ranges. For example, the North American porcupine is found in parts of North America, while the Brazilian porcupine inhabits parts of South America. 33 Porcupines and Agricultural Damage In some regions, porcupines can cause damage to crops and orchards by gnawing on trees and plants. Efforts are made to find effective and humane methods for managing conflicts between porcupines and agriculture. 34 Porcupine Vocal Repertoire Porcupines communicate using a range of vocalizations, including grunts, whines, and moans. The variety in their vocal repertoire helps convey different messages in various situations. 35 Seasonal Changes in Coat Color Some porcupine species undergo seasonal changes in coat color. For example, the North American porcupine may have a darker coat in winter possibly providing better camouflage against snow. 36 Porcupine Adaptations for Digging Porcupines possess strong forelimbs and claws adapted for digging. They use these features to create dens, burrows, and to access roots and tubers in the ground. 37 Handling of Quills Young porcupines learn to handle their quills to avoid injuring themselves. They have a layer of soft, flexible quills at birth that harden over time, and as they grow, they become more skilled at controlling their quill placement. 38 Porcupine Predation on Buildings In some urban and suburban areas, porcupines may cause damage by gnawing on wooden structures, including buildings and fences. This behavior is often attributed to their need for essential nutrients found in treated wood. 39 Porcupines and Salt Porcupines are attracted to salt and may chew on items like tool handles or other objects to obtain salt residues. This behavior is known as pica, and it is thought to supplement their diet with essential minerals. 40 Porcupine and Vehicle Collisions Porcupines, especially those found in areas with roads, may face the risk of vehicle collisions. They can be difficult to see at night and drivers in porcupine habitats need to exercise caution to avoid harming these animals. 41 Porcupine Burrows and Dens Porcupines create burrows or dens in various locations, including rock crevices, hollow trees, and tunnels in the ground. These shelters provide protection from predators and serve as resting places. 42 Porcupines and Fire Ecology Porcupines can influence fire ecology by feeding on vegetation, potentially affecting the composition of plant species. Their presence in ecosystems plays a role in the dynamics of vegetation and habitat structure. 43 Porcupine as a Symbol In some cultures, the porcupine is seen as a symbol of protection and self-defense. The animal's unique defensive mechanisms have contributed to its symbolic significance in different traditions. 44 Porcupine Population Dynamics The population dynamics of porcupines can be influenced by factors such as food availability, predation rates, and environmental conditions. Researchers study these dynamics to understand the overall health of porcupine populations. 45 Conservation Concerns while many porcupine species are not considered endangered, localized threats, such as habitat loss and conflicts with humans, can impact their populations. Conservation efforts often focus on mitigating these threats and promoting coexistence. 46 Porcupine Scent Glands Porcupines have scent glands located on their abdomen, which they use for marking territory. They may rub these scent glands against objects, 
leaving their scent as a form of communication with other porcupines. 47 Hibernation Myths Porcupines are not true hibernators. While they may become less active in the winter, they do not enter a state of deep hibernation. Instead, they remain relatively active, venturing out of their dens to forage for food. 48 Porcupine Parasites Like many other animals, porcupines can host various parasites, including ticks, fleas, and internal parasites. These parasites are a natural part of their ecosystems and can influence the health of individual porcupines. 49 Porcupine Threat Displays When threatened, porcupines may engage in threat displays. They might stomp their hind feet, rattle their quills, and vocalize to deter potential predators or threats. 50 Porcupines and Hollow Trees Porcupines often seek refuge in hollow trees, using these natural shelters as safe places for resting and giving birth. The hollow trees provide protection from predators and environmental conditions. 51 Porcupines in Literature and Folklore Porcupines have made appearances in literature and folklore around the world. They are sometimes featured in stories and myths, often embodying characteristics such as wisdom, resourcefulness, or caution. 52 Porcupine Interaction with Other Species Porcupines interact with various species in their ecosystems. For example, they may compete with other herbivores for food resources, and their foraging activities can have cascading effects on plant communities. 53 Porcupines and Predation Risk While porcupines have effective defense mechanisms, they are not entirely immune to predation. Some predators, like cougars, may learn to attack porcupines in a way that avoids the quills, targeting vulnerable areas. 54 Porcupine Vocal Mimicry Similar to other rodents, porcupines may engage in vocal mimicry. They may imitate sounds made by other animals, potentially serving as a form of communication or to deceive potential threats. 55 Porcupine Migration some porcupines may engage in seasonal movements, seeking areas with abundant food resources during certain times of the year. This behavior is not as pronounced as in some other species, but it contributes to their adaptability. 56 Porcupine Regeneration Ability Porcupines have a remarkable ability to regenerate quills. If a porcupine loses quills, new ones will grow to replace them. This continuous growth and replacement process ensures that they maintain their defensive armor. 57 Porcupine Handling in Veterinary Care In cases where porcupines require veterinary care, handling can be challenging due to their quills. Veterinarians and wildlife rehabilitators take precautions to avoid injury while providing necessary medical attention. 58 Porcupine Digestive System the digestive system of porcupines is adapted to a herbivorous diet. They have a specialized digestive tract that allows them to break down fibrous plant material, extracting nutrients through microbial fermentation. 59 Porcupine Fur and Quill Trade Historically, porcupine fur and quills were used by indigenous peoples for various purposes, such as clothing, ornamentation, and tools. While not as widespread as in the past, some traditional uses of porcupine materials persist. 60 Porcupines and Water Sources Porcupines are generally not strong swimmers, and they may avoid deep water sources. However, they can cross shallow streams or swim if necessary, using their buoyant quills to stay afloat. 61 Porcupine Conservation Education Conservation organizations and wildlife educators often use porcupines as subjects for educational programs. These initiatives aim to raise awareness about the ecological importance of porcupines and the need for their conservation. 62 Porcupines and Plant Diseases Porcupines can inadvertently contribute to the spread of plant diseases. Their feeding activities may expose trees to infections 
affecting the health of forests in certain regions. 63 Porcupine Adaptations for Climbing Tree-dwelling porcupines have adaptations for climbing, including sharp claws and a prehensile tail. These adaptations allow them to navigate tree branches and access a variety of vegetation. 64 Porcupine Conservation Status The conservation status of porcupine species varies, with some population.